yesterday we we left uh the trade winds at around noon and we had three places to hit we went into busy day we went into tampa we're yeah. tom tampa, <laughs> tampa florida we're tom brady I'm, st- I'm still learning over here about tampa bay which is an area, area, and then Tampa, the city. Yeah, correct. I'm very nervous about saying the wrong thing because you will be corrected. Because I got Russ over there, who is from this area, wearing his Tampa Bay Buccaneers hat, looking at me like, you better get this right. He's going to use some eye daggers. Yeah, you better get this right, brother. This is from wrestlers are out here, and I'll find them, brother. So we went out to Tampa, and the first stop was the Florida Aquarium. Mm-hmm. Which was awesome. Which was great. I All the fish. I could have stayed there a few more hours. Y'all were yeah. rushing me. <laughs> well, I love schedule, aquariums. Kelly, I love schedule. them. Kelly is savage, by the way. There was a, a pelican, <laughs> right? There's a pelican, and the, the birds are able to fly everywhere in the, in the aquarium. And, yeah. this, and this, this pelican has perched itself on top of an, one of the aquariums where there was a school of fish just swimming back and forth. And I just knew he was, he was scheming. He oh, was. He was. <laughs> Big Al, he was scheming. Yeah. He was standing there. Waiting and, to shoot a shot and get and, some dinner. And when the fish would swim close to him, I would scare the fish so they'd go the other way. Good for and, you, man. Good. Thank you, because yeah. I'm a hero. Well, yeah. you didn't need to do that because the fish apparently kept forgetting he was there. They'd swim away, come back, and they'd see him and go, oh, and they go away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did that like 20 times I know. while I was watching. Because yeah. they have short memories. But Kelly's <laughs> over there filming, waiting for savagery to happen. I wanted to see the circle of life. The circle of life, yeah. Casey. At With the aquarium. And at the aquarium. But I always wonder that, too, because the aquarium also had this really cool, I guess, like room where there was just like, it was like a giant wall. But yeah, it was like a, a reef. tank, it was a reef. essentially. But they had so many different fish in it and right. sharks. And I'm like, are, do they like, eat, eat, eat each other? Yeah, at any probably. Point? I, I mean, guess they could, but if they keep them well fed, they wouldn't be feasting on each other, right? That's true. Yeah. They don't eat like me when I'm just bored. They've been swimming for a while. No, that looks that tasty. That looks yeah. you, you could ask them and they say, sometimes snacks happen, but we try to keep them fed so that doesn't happen. <laughs> I did have one regret. I didn't go into, I, I caught Justin and Daniel in the no bone zone, um, <laughs> which is where you could. Uh, I skipped over that because I got fussed out that I was holding up the line. The line. Y'all were standing you, there laughing for like a solid 10 minutes. What were you guys that. touching? We were touching anemones and starfish. Uh, I got yes. no enemies. So. No enemies, <laughs> yeah. They were, so you put your fingers on them and then they cling to your fingers. What? Oh, wow. Yes, they were moving and they would stick to them. And that water was freezing cold. I know, it has to be. We yeah. also got I to like play. It. We played with penguins. Yes, yeah. which was awesome. Got to pet them and everything. Fun, and, yeah. fun fact about penguins, they can poop up to four feet away. Really? Yeah, I love Shout that. Shout out. Yeah. And every 10 well, minutes. Fast metabolism. Can't they, we all after a really bad night out? Yeah. yeah. A bunch of fishy <laughs> food is what they But that was awesome. After the uh, aquarium, we ended up uh, going to my company that I started with, Amy, uh, Al's wife, J.C. Newman Cigar Company, <laughs> <laughs> which is not our company. It just happens to be the name of it, and we just mixed it up. But we got to roll our own cigars. That was cool. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I this lo- place also has the oldest cigars in the world Yeah. in their factory. Which they'll reveal at another time. We can't talk about oh, that. Oh, we can't right talk now. about that? No. Yes. Um, no, they don't. They don't so, have that. Anyway, <laughs> so we got to roll our own cigars, and, uh, and uh, we found out who is the most natural, according to the what? pros. According to who? The pros. The experts. The experts. The guy you. Because I wasn't around. Uh, it you was, were in there, you rolling in there. your own. They said part time Justin was the natural. See, now really. I have to call into question that because I observed you. because. What rolling, you were doing completely opposite of what See, he told me to do. Right. Look at competitive. No, it's Kelly. true. I'm not saying that. I, I'm just wondering. He said you were the best, but you weren't doing it at all, I guess, because you are used to rolling in your own way. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, but, uh-huh. you know, so you did what worked There's for you. Right. No, yeah. actually, I did exactly what he told me to do. And even though that was completely opposite of what he told me. Because sh- I was watching you cut. I was like, but you they were had, cutting. You, you had a different, different teacher. Yeah. Oh, you, we did? Yes. I thought he was the same one yeah. for everybody. And they had a couple of different people because I, I rolled one. And then another guy came up, grabbed it, unrolled it, and was like, do it again. You did it wrong. There's different oh. versions. Oh. I was like, Ooh, okay. The, the pro that Justin was learning from, he had a, he was cutting it different than I was, and you and I were cutting okay, it because we were together. I was like, but, how is that? Because I thought the same guy was, because I, I went first, so I was getting mine done. They all know? said Justin was a natural. A natural. Yeah, and we got to keep why. them. Wow. I might sell mine, <laughs> you know. What? This, for this for profit. Handmade by, yeah, hand by rolled. Me. Hand rolled. Hand Get you some of that. It was really cool. It's a, it's a fun art with the knife and cutting it and then rolling it into this beautiful wrap paper. I never knew. I thought cigars were always like finely grained like a cigarette, but they're no. not. They're yeah. rolled, They're like rolled leaves into tubes. 
to let the air yeah. come in. And then, uh, you know what we always do on family vacation? Uh, we eat. We mm-hmm. eat. We went to, oh, I, and, I, and apparently you have not been to Tampa until you have been to the Columbia. It was amazing. You must go there. It's world it is, famous. It's world famous. It's been on TV. They got a, the most famous salad. They'll toss it right next to your table. 1905. Not just your salad, but your they'll mojitos, also make your drinks. Your right sangria, yeah. everything. And we found out that Marilyn Monroe and uh, her husband, uh, Joe DiMaggio. DiMaggio, used to frequent the place. Babe because Ruth. he'd come down for spring training. Yeah. And he was a baseball player. And Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth mm-hmm. got kicked out of there. And begged to come back by giving them an autographed baseball yeah. bat. They Madonna. Back. Madonna. Michael Jackson. Jackson. Jackson, like all these super celebrities have the been to the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Us. <laughs> and they also have the original Cuban sandwich there. Yes. yes. Like if you want to taste a sandwich that's been made over a hundred years ago. The OG, the, the they history. They have the recipe for you. The and they're the saying that they put the mustard on top because it hits your mouth. Just it hits your roof of your yeah. mouth and not your tongue. Carefully constructed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. Guy, the guy that was telling us all about it, he wrote a book on the Cuban sandwich. Yeah. And uh, we, we found out that their employees stay there for years, like 50-something years, because it's such a wonderful place. And That's they awesome. even have a Hall of Fame for their employees. That's great, man. It I was beautiful. It. And they said if they have – because they just keep expanding the restaurant over the years. They said at capacity, they could serve 1,700 people. It was in a but, but you wouldn't know that because the room you're in is just like, oh, this is a really nice restaurant. But then you turn a corner and they're like, oh, There's here's another, another really nice restaurant. It's all the same. Flamingo oh, dancers. and every room is different. Yeah. Different rooms. Really cool. There's like a balcony. It's, it's such a wonderful spot. So if you ever head on down to Tampa, make sure you check out the Columbia. Go get yourself some cigars at J.C. Newman Cigar Company in the Florida Aquarium. It was beautiful. They even had little classes for little kids, little camp going on at the yeah, same time as we were early, there. Uh, J.C. <laughs> started early for what? Rolling the cigars, dude. That was the aquarium. aquarium. I said, oh.